All right, so I bought a TPMS uh, monitoring kit for my car that does not have the TPMS sensors. Um, it's about $40. Um, I have the 6 UL's 949 racing tires with the two valve stem. It's about a 29, 28 PSI right now with this gauge. That's what I had it last time. I'm gonna try this out because when I'm out there sitting in the car, I can't really monitor it quickly enough before the next runs. So I think this will help. Especially since I have two valve stems, I could uh, put in or take out, depending on what I need. Because I can be looking it up and it says it's real time, so let's see how that one goes. It also says it's solar powered, so I probably won't have to charge it as much. So, it just seems like a cool idea. <clears throat> the only bad thing about this little thing that I, when I bought it is it didn't bring a charging cable. So, I had to use one that I had laying around from another device. I already charged it fully. These are the four sensors let's, uh, let's put them on Right away. 11th is actually marking on the front right so it's bad labeling I guess I don't know so front right So the front right is actually front left. So that's some bad labeling. Rear left. Yeah, so compared to my gauge, which I've compared to other gauges. It's pretty, pretty dead on, actually, so. Let's see if I take out how fast it reads. In the rear left. Let me, let me get my gauge.
does pretty fast. That's pretty cool. Well, I don't have any way of putting air in, so I'm gonna change the settings. So, minimum, where's the minimum? I just had to just click on it so it shut up. So you can set settings to minimum, highest. You can also do that with temperature, which I think I believe is the the 80, 82. So I'm gonna drive around and then see what it does with the temperature and whatnot. 